Hi guys, welcome back to another little Geeky Reviews. If you remember a while ago, I sent a few figures to another very good friend on YouTube, Who Time. And he's recently sent me a little package back with a few custom figures which you see in front of you. So I don't think we will ever ever get these released I'd be very surprised if they did get released as an actual figure from like character options or even B&M type of stuff but these are just absolutely amazing if you don't know already just by looking at them I want you to give I just want to give you a bit of background on them first off and I'll tell you where um, Andy from Who Time actually got some of the custom figure heads, but all the actual paint detail and everything is from him himself. So, Andy, thank you very much for these. It is much appreciated. Do us a favour, guys. Just while after you've watched this little video, if you haven't already, go over and drop Who Time a subscribe for us. So, and um, just chuck a comment on his first video that you see and tell him that Joe sent you over from Geeky Reviews he is an absolute cracker so this first one coming round this is from the 7th Doctor so it's a Hemavore from the episode Case of Fenric uh, Case of Fenric sorry so it's the it's basically a vampire creature and uh, just a bit of the backstory of it. It was f from like he was basically they were all basically humans um, turning into these vampire-like creatures. I think it was one of the, like last episodes, or on the run up to one of the last episodes of the Seventh Doctor. Um, but it's a it's a mash of a couple of figures. Uh, the body itself, it's got um, Francesco the vampire and also the Connor Temple from Prime Evil as well I mean I'll bring them all in for a bit of a closer look at the actual faces as well so I'll just bring him up I mean look at the detail and the mould of that head sculpt and even down to the hands as well absolutely stunning now the head sculpt that actually uh, came from let's see oh the head sculpt actually came from I think it was a uh, Doctor Who UK from Etsy they're all only about 15 pounds for the head sculpts uh, so yeah Doctor Who UK so if you he's there he's got loads of different types of of head sculpts from various figures where you can kit bash and actually make your own so again just jump over to Etsy and have a little look at him he's absolutely the some of the stuff he's got on there is absolutely cracker so the next one I'll bring up is uh, Professor Stalman. Uh, as the Primord, now he's from the Third Doctor era. So the base of the figure is from an actual weevil from Torchwood. But what Andy's done, he's got this little name badge popped on there. The hands are from a Black Series uh, Star Wars Wookiee figure. And the head sculpt again is from um, the Doctor Who UK over on Etsy. I mean, absolutely detail wise, again, it's all being painted from Who Time. But look at that, absolutely cracker. I went on uh, Etsy and uh, looked under, and these are about, I think they were £15 for the head sculpt again and the last one is the fish person from the second doctor's era from underwater menace this actual head sculpt is from ndw design 
again on Etsy. They, he's got loads of different types of head sculpts. The actual base is from the Raston Warrior figure. Now, again though, Who Time has actually painted and done all this on it. He's, this has got all like textured type of glitter effect all over the shoulders, the waist, the wrists, even down to the ankles as well. And then he's moulded the little fins into the waist. But again, absolute cracker of a design. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. So there you go, guys. I just wanted to do this a little showcase and shout out big massive thank you to who time like i say go check them out go subscribe and if you want any custom figureheads like i say go jump over to etsy you have got ndw design and doctor who uh, uk absolutely cracker and they are only like I say, I think the head sculpts are around £15 each as well. But let me know your thoughts on these. Do you think we will ever actually get figures like this in the line? Whether it be character options exclusive or even within the B&M sets. Drop us those comments. While you're dropping those comments, do the usual. Like, subscribe and tickle that little bell notification. But thanks for checking in on this one, and I will see you on the next. Take care.